When it comes to the open class division of off-road racing, one name stands at the top of the list. Honda released the aluminum framed XR650R in 2000, long after its ancient air-cooled versions of the 600 and 650 evolved into a staple of off-road racing. 649 cc's of indestructible motor make the 2006 XR an easy choice for big board riders across the spectrum. Low maintenance guys and elite desert racers like Johnny Campbell rely on the bulletproof performance offered by the Honda. Of our rigorous testing, each of our bikes passed the durability test with flying colors, and it's a well known fact that the Honda 650 dominates wide open terrain and fast fire roads, something that we are more than happy to verify. Drift around a corner, whack the throttle, and the XR leaves its competitors in the dust. This type of riding is what the XR is all about. Just watch out for big hits like this one, because the XR's soft suspension bottoms out just thinking about it. We could have ridden our Hondas from one side of the state to the next on gravel back roads, but Southern Oregon has some of the tightest single track and best trail system in the West Coast. The bulky XR can be a handful in tight stuff especially a race pace, so apply the throttle with cotton. Weak brakes and monster power means that steering with the rear wheel is the preferred method, as BC demonstrates here. We thought we'd enjoy the water while we can before boarding the XR for the Baja 1000 later this November. But based on the performance thus far, all we really have to worry about is dodging the cactus. You wet? A little bit. You weren't much the water monkey today, Chamberlain. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm not really into water sports.